the hunt is on for a trigger happy person celebrating the new year who fired shots that ended up wounding a three year old little boy. Neighbors near 31st Avenue in Roosevelt say that it sounded like a war zone. Team 12's William Pitts joins us with the details and what the little boy's mom is saying tonight. Will? This neighborhood was riddled with bullets. The three year old was taken to the hospital and will probably be okay. It sounded like if, as if we're in a war zone. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of people around this neighborhood firing, probably two people over there, over there, over there. Like, it was just insane last night. Bullet holes left in the fences, five in this one, two more going through the next fence. And on the other side, a house where a three-year-old was hit by a bullet fragment. And they just kept reloading and firing rounds. All of a sudden, um, we hear gunshots. Next thing you know, my brother runs in with my son, saying that my son has been shot. So, I mean, it was really scary. The shots going off right behind Marcos Pasillas' house. They easily could have hit his kids, too. I imagine if it would have, that bullet would have hit someone in the head and possibly killed somebody. Very dangerous. Every few seconds last night, another call. We've got a second for you. It's going to be shot fired. 4130. Someone shooting guns in the air. That's been a felony in Arizona ever since Shannon's law was passed 20 years ago. And every year, police have tried to warn people not to shoot in the air because the bullets come down somewhere fast enough to kill. Like in Texas last night when a 61-year-old woman died after getting hit by a stray bullet. Glendale police even have Shot Spotter, a network of microphones that listen and pinpoint gunfire. Over a dozen arrests have been made with the aid of Shot Spotter technology. Um, we've even encountered people still firing when officers located that subject. And at 9.30 last night, another call. KS9, gunshot wound, stage for PD. The one next door to Marcos. Phoenix police say they're looking for the shooters, but have not arrested anyone yet. You know, for a little bit, moment of stupidity, now they're going to face time that they're going to regret. We're in Phoenix, William Pitts, 12 News.